Hey, what's up guys? I'm Kill Paris, and in this video I'm going to show you a super simple way to get very lush and musical chord progressions without knowing anything about music. Um, and this technique was actually shown to me by a student of mine, Isaac Peak. I have a link to his SoundCloud in the description. Please check him out. He's doing some really, really great music. Um, and so what I have here is I just have a simple MIDI track which has a massive sound on it. Really simple, nothing too crazy. Um, and what we're going to do is actually in our live devices, in the MIDI effects, we're going to take the chord and also the scale, which you can use these presets here to kind of start out with. Um, you have C major and C minor. We'll use C minor for this. Um, and then on the scale here, you can change the key by changing the bass. So what this does here is the MIDI comes in right here, goes to the chord, and then we can shift... Um, and add notes to it basically it's still playing the original note that you're bringing in but then it's adding um, a note on top of it so you can do like a seventh um, maybe turn it up a, a whole octave and bring it down an octave um, and then let's add this one to be a fourth so the MIDI's coming in here it's going to the chord it's adding all of these notes here which you can do up to six notes and then of course you can put a chord another chord after this and get as crazy with it as you want um, and then it's going to the scale, which this scale kind of, it's an interesting thing because regardless of what MIDI notes you're playing, it'll uh, kind of lock everything into the scale so you won't play a wrong note, um, theoretically. So let's just kind of hear what this sounds like. Super awesome. Okay, so from here, I mean, you really just need to mess around with the, uh, you know, shifting these up differently. Kind of see what sounds you come up with. And um, another little thing that I've been messing around with is actually just throwing the arpeggiator after the chord here, turning the steps up a couple. Alright guys, so that's it. Please mess around with this. Um, I think it's going to be very useful to a lot of you because I know I've gotten a lot of questions about music theory and, um, you know, it is, it's, it's tough because it's like a completely different world, especially if you're just like learning Ableton and then, oh, well now I need to know how to make, you know, actual make chord progressions and know the music side of it. So, um, I hope this guy, this helps you out guys. Please like, rate, subscribe, share this. Um, check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash killparis. Um, if you want to go over there and like that, um, that would be awesome. That would help me out a lot. Then also on Twitter, at Kill Paris. Um, and then I'm using Instagram quite a bit lately, so at Kill Paris Music there. Um, and I'll have some more videos coming up for you guys. Um, and we'll see you later. Keep making great music. Peace.